What's up guys? Welcome to our first catfish video. And if you are new to the channel, this is Dar Sizzle. <laughs> and I'm Brian, Darcy's boyfriend, and we went catfishing on Lake Okeechobee. We actually went crappy fishing on Lake Okeechobee, and we caught catfish, uh, you know, just by accident. We don't really know how to catch catfish, but we caught a bunch, and we decided we'd make a video out of it. Right, Sizzle? Exactly. Yeah, so they were a bycatch for us that particular day, and I decided, why not? You guys always ask us to do a catfish video, and in particular, a catch and cook. So that's what we did. We kept a few catfish. I ended up cleaning the catfish, and then we ended up deep frying them. So this is our first ever catfish catch, clean, and cook. I got a fish on. I hope I land it. I just basically, as soon as my bobber went under, I closed my bail and just started reeling. Like you don't even set the hook on these guys. But I'm really not sure what it is because it took a little bit of drag there. Woo! Fighting! Fighting! I didn't think it was a crappie, but I have a catfish. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it because like all you guys, every time I catch a catfish, freshwater or saltwater, you guys are always like, why aren't you keeping that fish? So, um, you guys always tell us how awesome these guys are to eat and honestly we just never want to keep them because I don't know I've been stung by a catfish I'd rather not mess with these guys but um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy and we'll do a catch and cook. Okay, you want me to show you how you hold them? There's two ways to do it. Okay. The first one is you want to come under mm -hmm. so you see how the spines are between those two fingers and there and the top spine can't get you because you got one, two, three that uh. can get you. The other way is you come on top. Uh huh. Go under and then pin the top down with the back of your hand. Like that. Just okay. like that. And then you can just play with them, do whatever you want. Okay. That's easy, but still you gotta like if he's wiggling around, I guess you wait till it calms down so yeah. you don't get stung. Yeah, you do not want to get hit by these, it hurts. Yeah. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. Channel cat. What what exact species is that? That is a channel catfish. Channel catfish. Okay, just making sure. Awesome. All right, so I just caught another catfish, even though I was aiming for a crappie, but I'll take it. We have about like a handful of uh, catfish in the cooler, I believe. So we're going to go home and we're going to go ahead and clean up these catfish and then cook them to do a real taste test, an official taste test of the catfish. You have now come to the clean portion of this video. It's time to clean up our catfish that we caught, I think, yeah, it was yesterday. Um, so we are going to go ahead and get ready. Bubba is in the kitchen. He seems very hungry. And Bubba, I think next month and month, next month or I think it's April, Brian. Anyways, he's going to be 16 years old. He is an old puppy. He's still kicking though. He's doing good this week. So, and he's hungry. So that's what counts. Maybe he'll have some catfish, Bubba. All right. We're just going to go ahead and get right to this and fillet up this catfish I've got here. Wow, this barb is like frozen saw. They can't push it down. That's interesting. So I've never filleted a catfish, guys, um, and I'm actually not honestly that excited about it either. <laughs> I don't know what it is about a catfish, but it's just not a lot. But I'm excited to eat it and see how it tastes. So I just looked up some YouTube videos, believe it or not, of course, actually, and um, figured out, you know, how to fillet a catfish. It's very simple, just like any other fish. But I also saw a couple of different tricks from other YouTubers uh, regarding like the slime that's on them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my 9 inch serrated bubble blade knives. I only use bubble blade knives for filleting. They're awesome. Um, so the 9 inch, they told me that's one of the only ways to get the slime off of them. And basically you just go back and forth and that also gets their scales off. But putting them under the sink water or any kind of water, it just makes it worse and the slime won't come off. So I think for me to make my initial cut, I'm just going to like get the slime off on that side right there. I think that's good. That's a ton of slime. That's crazy. And I'm just going to do the other side. And along the way, as you guys watch me do this, let me know if you have any uh, tips or tricks for me regarding filleting a catfish too, because I would appreciate your guys' input. I'm sure a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys catch catfish all the time. I just switched to my 6-inch turkinated knife with the Mossy Oak handle. Very fancy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the initial cut. There's a bone right here. So I'm just going to go right behind this bone and make my first cut. Now I'm dealing with little catfish, so I know some of you guys would tell me to like flip him on his belly and flay him like that, but that's for bigger fish, and honestly, I, this is gonna work perfect for me. So now I'm just gonna follow the back, the spine, down all the way to his tail fin. Just like that. Okay, after doing that, now I'm just going to take the knife and follow the bone all the way through to the spine and then just work it down at a 45 degree angle. I 
I also haven't caught a whole lot of trout, but I know that a lot of you guys have said online that they're, the shape of them are very similar to a trout, so their, their rib cage sticks back further over here. So I'm just gonna go over that rib cage. So that's the catfish fillet on one side right there. I also read online too with uh, keeping, because they're so slimy, they're hard to hold as far as filleting them goes. So I'm going to use a trick that I saw online. And a lot of people do this on regular fish as well. But you keep the tail intact. I didn't cut through over here. And I'm just going to run my blade like this so that way I have leverage and I don't have to hold on to the slimy uh, skin and fillet it off. That is one little catfish fillet. I'm surprised how white that catfish meat is. Yeah, the cool thing is too, there's absolutely no bones in this fillet. Like I don't have to cut the pin bones out or anything. Oh, that's nice. So it's ready to go, ready to eat. You know, I'm like a snobby guy from New York. We don't eat catfish, uh, you know, from the big city. <laughs> but this looks really good. So I'm just saying, just being honest with you. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say I'm wasting a lot of this fish, especially like the belly meat. I know a lot of you guys love to eat the belly meat, uh, but because this fish is so small, I, it's honestly not all that worth it to me to cut the belly meat off. And also, if there's any kind of toxins in the water or anything, the, the fat on the belly meat will actually accumulate any kind of like poison, whatever's in the water. So I just prefer not to cut the belly meat off today. So please don't <laughs> get on my case about wasting so much catfish. All right, nice job for your first catfish dress sizzle. Now she's gonna clean up a couple more of those. And uh, let me tell you what we're having for dinner because you know I'm in charge of eating, uh, I mean cooking. And uh, we're gonna be having fried catfish because we asked for recipes on Facebook and you guys said fried was the best. We're gonna do a cornmeal fry, kind of very traditional. And then we're gonna have hush puppies. You guys told me you gotta have hush puppies when you have fried catfish. And we're gonna have some spinach because dad likes spinach. And uh, then we're gonna have a couple uh, crappy that we have left over from yesterday, just in butter, salt and pepper. Um, but the main idea is we're going to be frying this catfish, so uh, we'll get right back to that. Okay, we're back. Darcy's got the, some crappy out, and she's putting salt and pepper on it. I'm just going to butter it up real quick. And I bought this new fryer, so it wouldn't blow the house up every time I fry outside. They're much easier. So this just came from Amazon. I'm going to try it today. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to batter up that uh, catfish with this recipe, or, not, or with this coating right here. And then we're going to throw it in. For the spinach dad's cooking, we just got a little bit of water on the bottom and some butter, some actually some Amish real butter he just bought. So should be really good. And then that just goes down to like nothing. I don't know about you guys, but there ain't much better than having some crappy just out of pan with some butter. It's delicious. I gotta take it off now. Just like two minutes each side is done. Alright, time to time to coat the fish, the catfish. Alright, we got a lot going on now. We're gonna start frying everything. We're almost done with the crappy. And uh, again, we're gonna be frying our catfish and our hush puppies in here. So let's get going. The green light's on, ready to go. And you can also get this at the Amazon store using the at Darcy's Amazon affiliate link located in the description below. Put these right in here. And I'm gonna start with the catfish. We'll get in there, it'll show in here. I don't know if you're supposed to round them or not, but. Don't, don't splash them, woman. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Crap. Oops. Just push them off of your finger. Oh, that one got messed up. It's okay. Battery died in the camera. I got a new one in there. Gotta get this off. Got a lot going on. A lot going on. I'm not sure. I didn't count. It looks pretty full. Yeah. Let's leave it. All right. Those only. Those only cook for like two minutes. Let's see how they go. Well, golden, they gotta be golden brown sizzle. Okay. And we're gonna put them where? On the rack. No, hold on. Room left. There's no room. Need a second rack. Need a second cooling rack. All right, Darcy made some room. And these look golden brown. All right. They don't look done yet? Really? Let's flip them. I'm gonna flip them and stir them a little bit. Yes. You see? My big arm in the way? Oh, yeah. What's going off? Right now, you see these are pretty brown. They look really good. So I'm going to take these out. This basket's really convenient. Woo! 
we're not gonna make any more uh, any more hush puppies just because I'm fat and we're you know trying to healthy around here. Yeah, so you, this thing's working really well. It's very convenient, and I just wanted to remind you that you know, all the products that Darcy uses, the rack, uh, the bubble blade knives, uh, the fryer we're using, we, all, we get everything from Amazon, and the link is down below if you use that link. To buy any of this stuff, Darcy gets a little kickback, and also if you just do your regular shopping on there, your Christmas shopping, your Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, whatever you buy, okay? So uh, that would really help Darcy out. Thanks, guys. I was waiting patiently. We're waiting. Hi, Bubba. Oh, look. Golden brown. Give him a minute. Switch it up on him. Mess him up. There we go. Perfect. We need another fork, though. All right, we're all done. Time for the taste test. Ready? Let's ladies, do this. Ladies first. I need to taste the hush, hush, hush puppies and the fish. Here we go. I'm tasting the catfish first. We should, we should all taste it together. I'm just saying. Girlies. No big deal. Here we go. I already had a lot because I cooked and eat. It's delicious. Whoa. And that is pretty darn good. I'm shocked. Awesome. Like it's really, it's crispy on the outside, but it's right, nice and tender and juicy still on the inside. Too bad we don't fry it as enough fish. <laughs> it's so delicious, man. And the um, breading is pretty good too. The, the, the catfish, I mean, I've, I've personally never had catfish in my life. Wow. So it's really good. Honestly, if I had to compare it to something, it's, it's kind of like flounder. Yeah. No, it tastes a little bit like, what, you don't have no, no, no flounder. No, I'm just listening <laughs> to what you're saying. Like, yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, so they have the clown and the hush puppies. They're just delicious hush puppies, nice and fresh. Yeah. Mmm. Let me try it. So. Mm. What do so, you think, Dad? Talk about my mouth open. You must have had catfish before. Really good. It is sizzlicious. Siz it, it is delicious. It is awesome. Sizzlicious. It's sizzlicious. <laughs> there you go. Sizzlicious, sir. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much for the tips, Let's... too, regarding having the hush puppies with the catfish. It really does go together perfectly. It's so Yeah, a lot of guys said that on Facebook and Twitter and on Instagram, so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. That was an awesome catch and cook. Let us know if you want us to continue doing these more often, and we definitely will. There's a lot of times we go home and we don't bring home fish um, because, you know, we like to fish, but... We don't only only focus on those dinner fish, you know. We like to catch and release as well. So, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you. That's the only reason why we're able to do to do what we do is because of you guys watching. So please continue to do so. I get recognized at the barber shop today. He did, and I thought I was I felt so famous. He did, and two people recognized me at Costco today and checkout. So that was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, we had a great time, and I'm just really excited to be sharing these adventures with you guys. So thank you so much for the support, and uh, we'll be back with another adventure. And until then, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching and eat more catfish and Boom. spinach. Don't forget your spinach. Next, <laughs> next to saltwater catfish. Comment below if you want that. Yeah. We gotta see all you, we gotta see all your people doing your homework and eating your catfish. Yeah. <laughs> Showing you these. These are my dad's. My dad collected antique tractors. Some of you Midwesterners might be into that. That might not make it. <laughs>